his picture of the queen. Baby Ray is busy. <laughs> um, he's a rambunctious eight-year-old child, and he really, truly is my sunshine. Like, he lights up my life. <laughs> wow. Baby Ray is like a tornado, if I'm gonna be honest. He's super fun, so much energy. He's so sweet. Baby Ray was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and autism. When he was born, it was probably the scariest day of my life because I didn't know what was going on. Baby Ray was born at 23 weeks and one day. I remember talking to the doctors and they were like, yeah, it's time to say your goodbyes because he is probably only gonna live three days. He was 530 grams. So he was literally not even a pound. So he literally fit in the palm of my hand. So I didn't get to meet baby until he was three days old. So the maternal fetal medicine doctor had told me if he lived 24 hours, it would be a miracle. When my mom finally got to go over and meet him for the first time, she was super excited. And then we would spend pretty much, we would be here every single day for the foreseeable future. He was here for eight months, three weeks, and two days. I had to learn a lot for him to be able to come home. I had to take a lot of classes. I had to take CPR. He was born July 3rd. We came home March the 21st of 2016. It's killing me. The main program that I care about and I think has helped me the most is the Center for Families. I was able to utilize the services. They had a library, they had a computer to where I was able to do my resume. I was able to get a snack. Even while my son was in therapy, they focused on the family. The Center for Families is really a central space at St. Louis Children's Hospital where patients and families can come for everything that they need during their experience with us. One of the things we like to say is we, we wrap around patients and families with supportive family resources. So it's a space where families can come in to shower, uh, do laundry, lots of laundry, grab coffee, grab a snack, access the business center. We provide really anything that you can think of as a patient and family when you're coming and your child is in the hospital, whether they're inpatient or outpatient. It doesn't cost anything. One of the things that's really um, amazing and we're very proud of is we are funded 100% through the St. Louis Children's Hospital Foundation th through donors and support. I had lost my job because baby was in the hospital for so long. She literally brought up all the information that I needed, packaged it, it was in a folder, it was all labeled, like this is what they're gonna do. And like basically, cause I'm sitting there Googling on my phone, but they had the resources there. Once he got out of the hospital, Tratice was there. We worked on my resume and I applied. I was just literally like applying for jobs and I got the job I got now. One of the things our team will say is, how can we support you today? Because it may look different tomorrow and it may have looked different yesterday. But what Robin needed in that moment, she needed some help with a resume, access to a business center, maybe some tips on interviewing. And the next time she came in, it may have been the shower and it may have been a blanket. I would not want my child to be at any other hospital because he has received the best care here. I'm so honored to have my son be a CMN ambassador because I think that 